Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, yesterday we have completed our uh, uh, tutorial about uh, raptors, and now uh, our tutorial for today is about trust. It is now our part ten of our tutorial uh, regarding roofs, and this is now our last topic. And on our next topic, we're going to discuss now about the stairs. Guys, uh, before we continue, if you are new to my channel, please uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Alright guys, let's get started. Now guys, uh, my Revit is open. Uh, next that I will do is uh, we're going to uh, open this uh, truss that I have uh, created just earlier. Now uh, our uh, walls is finished. Uh, next that I'm going to do is uh, we're going to make a roof. So I'll go and uh, double click this uh, Level 2 on our project browser, double click. And then in our project browser, uh, I have created these two sections. So, uh, next uh, that I'm going to do is uh, we're going to make a roof uh, in our uh, architecture tab. I go to roof by footprints. And then uh, be sure that uh, you have selected this uh, boundary line. And then uh, pick a wall. This pick a wall I have selected, and I place my mouse here, and I'm going to uh, make an overhang of one meter. So define slope stack overhang of uh, one meter, and uh, next uh, we're going to select our uh, oh, what you call this our roof. So we're going to select the same. We'll edit this, duplicate, and name this one truss. Trust. And then edit. And in our structure, uh, we're going to uh, adapt the same. Adapt the same, and uh, maybe. We're gonna make uh, our uh, thickness uh, of that one is maybe four inches, and then uh, okay, and then apply, and then okay. Now next uh, that I'm going to do is uh, I'll just uh, place my place my uh, uh, mouse. On this uh, one side of the wall, and I hit a tab, hit a tab, and then I select, and then uh, what uh, going to do is uh, there I click it because I offset it inside, and I click this uh, flip, so I flip it outside, and then now let's uh, finish this uh, roof that we have created. So finish, and then here is our roofs. So next that I'm going to do, I go to level 2 and uh, we're gonna introduce a beam from this side and a beam from here. So uh, we will make a roof like uh, we are going, uh, we are making a roof in the Philippines. So I'm more familiar about roof in the Philippines, that's why I'm introducing the roof that uh, I am familiar with uh, when I was uh, in the Philippines. So now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, uh, insert and load a family. So I'm going to load the family and what I'm going to load is I will load let's make a framing, structural framing and I'll go to concrete and I'm going to load this uh, concrete rectangular then open and then uh, I'll go to this uh, structure and pin and okay let's uh, 
make a beam and duplicate this and our name is uh, trust beam and then okay and then uh, I'm going to change this dimension it's too much big so I'm going to make a base uh, maybe a uh, 0.30 and then uh, the height maybe is just a uh, maybe is around the uh, 0.45 then apply and then okay and then what i'm going to do is uh i'm going to make a beam from this side to this side so next uh that i'm gonna do i'm going to make a beam also from this to there where our truss will go near see it. so i'll make it here and going here and then uh, again another one beam i make it here also going here and then uh, next uh, i cannot touch so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to adjust our view range view range and make our view range bottom negative 0.6 negative 0.6 and here also i'll make it 0.6 negative and I hit this apply and then ok and now it is now visible and I can touch it now so I'll drag this and I'll just uh, join it into this uh, wall that uh, we have made so I place it also here and drag it on this wall now we have a beam and we'll also have a beam here Next that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, insert again another material. So I'm going to insert material and uh, I go to this insert and then load family and I'm going to load a framing and maybe a wood and we'll check this wood. I think uh, because we are talking about wood so we need to change our wood as uh, imperial because i'm in philippines we are talking about bold food and uh, we did not use uh, uh, metric in uh, wood we always use imperial unit in wood so i go back and then i go back and then i go back and then back again and choose this imperial unit and then I'll go to this uh, structural framing and go to this wood I click this wood double click it and then I'll click this dimension number and then open and then I'm going to select this uh, 2 by 8 and then 2 by 10 and 2 by 12 and then OK now it was already loaded so next that I'm going to do is again I'm going to insert another family load family and now uh, we'll go back to our metric units and then I go there and then English and then US and then I go to this uh, structural process and in st structural process I'm going to select this uh, uh, I think this is uh, a prat truss. There are many trusses. There is a thin truss. There is a whole flat, uh, whole flat truss. There is a whole gable truss. Whole gable truss. You can select any of these. But uh, I want to use this uh, M prat truss. You can uh, use this one into your project. All of this you can use it into your project. So, so try to... Uh, Try all of these uh, trusses into your project also. So I use that one. And next that I'm gonna do, I'll go to this uh, structure and hit this truss. Try to explore all those, uh, you know, those uh, trusses that is available in our family. So I just uh, uh, go to this uh, structure and truss. And then in truss, I go to this edit type. 
and in edit type we'll need to change our structural framing type i will change this set framing type into woods so uh, top chord i'm going to use 2 by 10 and then uh, in vertical webs i will use uh, 2 by 8 2 by 8 and then also in our uh, diagonal webs so we'll use 2 by 8 also and then uh, in bottom chord uh, I use uh, 2 by 12 and then apply and then OK now next that I'm going to do is uh, we're going to make a truss from this side I just go and make a truss here and then also here And then uh, next, uh, we're gonna make a truss from this uh, diagonal side of our roofs, but I will not make it up to there. I will make it only some something here that our truss can sit into this beam. And then next, uh, also I also make it here from here to here. And then uh, here also we're gonna make it. And also from this side going to this side and then uh, let's open our 3d I just hit cancel twice we can place also a truss here also place a truss here and uh, let's sit it here and then another truss going here and let's sit it also here and then uh, I hit escape twice and then go to 3D and there is our process but this one goes to up upper top of the roof just uh, we need to see to 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 do is just click this one and change our end level to zero zero like and then this one also we need to change our end level to zero also and then also this and then also uh, touch your control and hit the other one and make both zero and then apply and all are already sitting on our truss so again uh, I have uh, made a mistake this truss is offset into one meter so I need to bring this down zero so there is our truss. Now uh, next uh, that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to touch all of this truss. I'll touch it and then I'll right click it and then select all instances in entire project. I selected all and then attach top bottom and then I'll touch this roofs okay now all of our truss is sitting like this so I'll show it to you in a uh, uh, yeah you can see it like this by selecting it but uh, we need to uh, set our graphics uh, override the graphics override graphics in view and hit by category and then uh, you change this uh, transparency and we'll make it around 70 or well, around 72 okay like then okay now there is our trust our uh, next that i will do is uh, here in the philippines we always do this and uh, also uh, our uh, top base also half sitting into this uh, uh, level so what I'm going to do is uh, we need to uh, check all these things we need to correct all these things so what I'm going to do is just, just uh, move these uh, sections that uh, we have before and then I just uh, select one 
1 and then here what I'm going to do is uh, I double click these sections and then in these sections I go to this uh, detail level course and I make it fine and there is our wood and here we need to correct this this one so I just uh, uh, hit out my tab tab and select this and unlock it I'll unlock it and this one needs to be moved to 6 inches because this is 12 inches only half of this is sitting into this beam so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up move, move this up I'll go to this uh, offset value and place this one 6 6 inches and then uh, enter and then there my uh, top uh, board is already moving and next that I'm going to do is I need to also adjust this roof because uh, this uh, uh, what is this this one uh, our uh, roofs uh, level is around uh, 10 inches so I need to move this also up to 10 inches so I'll go and select this truss and I'm going to offset this base offset to 10 inches now it's uh, offset into 10 inches now okay now this is 10 inches uh, next step that I'm going to do is uh, going to align this one into this uh, side of this uh, we call it uh, bay so I'll make it a tab and then uh, I'll unlock it unlock and then I'm going to drag this up to the edge of this roof now there is huh? and then I'll go back to our uh, 3D and here is our first product now our truss is sitting like this and what we're gonna do we'll just make our uh, uh, what you call this uh, uh, faucet here and our fascia will make our fascia here and I'll place our soffit there and there is a truss and next uh, we're gonna change also this uh, side so I'll go back to level 2 and then what I'm going to do is I move this move this into another another uh, truss and then again go and then again this one I'll just uh, select tab and select that one and then unlock it and then what I'm going to do is uh, we'll go to Z offset value and I'm going to offset this 6 inches now it goes to 6 inches and then again uh, I'm going to drag this I just select this tab I hit this tab then uh, I unlock it and then I'm going to drag this also there up to this and then uh, we don't need this one 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 uh, bracing here or one web there I just uh, hit the tab and select that one and also uh, I, I, I just select it uh, then uh, unlock it and then we can delete that delete now there is our brush also now in 3d it is like this also here we don't need this also so what I'm going to do is uh, going to close this temporary hide hide elements and then I'll touch this I'll just select tab and then unlock it and then uh, delete and there is our and there is one wood there also so I just uh, tab it and then unlock it and then delete and then also this I just tab it unlock it and then delete and there is our truss now uh, we're going to correct also this 
this and this so that uh, we can complete it's a little bit a uh, lot of work but uh, this truss is easy to make so next that i'm going to do is i'm going to make a section so i'll make a section from this side from this side i'll make a section so i'll hit this section in our uh, quick uh, uh, quick menu and then i'll go this uh, and make this section up to here and then uh, i'll drag this way and then uh, there and then i'll go back to this uh, detail level and then uh, make it fine and there is our next uh, brush so next what I'm going to do is again I'll touch this now and then what I'm going to do again is uh, just move this I unlock it and then uh, move this again into in Z level I'll make it uh, negative I know six inches and then up and then uh, again I'll remove this I'll just uh, tab and touch that one unlock and then delete and also this one we don't need and then tab and then delete and then again I'll hit this uh, tab and then uh, unlock and then drag this here into this uh, near to this edge and there is our truss and 3d it is like this now guys we have already our truss then again another another one we're gonna correct this also portion what I'm going to do is I'll go back to level 2 and then in level 2 I'm going to make again another section here so I'll make a section then I'll go to this uh, section and then again I'll go and go up to this uh, side so again I'll bring this here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this and then there is our truss. I'll go back to this uh, fine and then in fine then again I'm going to select this na, hit this tab and then unlock and then again I'll need to place 6 inches and then up. And then uh, next is uh, I'm going to again hit this tab and then unlock and then delete. And then again this wood here I'll hit the tab and then uh, I'll just unlock it. And again I'll need to drag this near to this uh, place. And then uh, you can uh, check this into our line. So I think uh, need to see if that is coming there into our edge where we're gonna make our uh, rough there. So again, I'll have this. And then uh, make it near here. Okay. Be sure that this one will not uh, will not go over. Okay. There is our. Now this two is done, and I'm going to make this one also here. So well, I'm going back to level two, and then uh, we're gonna move this section. Move move this section and I move it here and then again we'll open this and there is our two truss and then what I'm going to do I make it fine and then there is and then uh, next is uh, again I'll hit this tab 
to select this button or and then unlock it and then move this into six inches and then go and then uh, next uh, I'll again hit the tab to select this and then unlock and then delete and then also this one tab and then unlock and then delete and then again uh, select this unlock and then again take it up to here and there again this side I'll again tap and then unlock and then move this one to 6 inches and then enter and then again I'll hit this tab tab and then unlock and then delete and then this one also unlock and then delete and then again this one I'll hit this uh, tab and then unlock and then uh, drag this up to this edge of our roof there it is now if you see it in our 3d it's like this now I have created there here and there is two remaining one two so we'll do the same also on this side what I'm going to do is I'll go back to this uh, level two and in level two so I need to remove this anymore we don't need that we don't need we don't need this anymore I just delete this okay and then delete this okay and then again I'll go and make a section in our quick command and then again make a section here and then uh, I'll make this one up to this point and then I'll double click this and then by double clicking it I'll go back to this uh, uh, find and then in find and then after this I'm going to tab and then again unlock and then make it 6 6 inches offset and then enter and then also we need to select this I hit this tab uh, again and then unlock it and then delete it and then also this side I'll just hit the tab and then unlock it and then delete it and then again I will hit the tab and then unlock this and again I move it here up to this edge and there it is now again it's almost done all of our roofs is almost and there is only one finish and again we'll do a truss also on this side okay and then again I'll go back to level 2 and in level 2 I'm going to make a section on this side make a section on this side and then uh, move this here and then uh, I'll double click it and there again I'll make it uh, fine and then uh, again I'll uh, hit this tab and then select and then I'm going to move this one up and lock and then uh, move this one bottom cord move it to 6 inches and then enter and then again what I'm going to do is again hit this tab and then select and then delete and then uh, next again I'm going to hit the tab here tab and select the wood where is the wood yeah this one unlock it and then uh, I'll need to drag this up to here and then in 3D there yeah. then it 
is just to show that this is exactly uh, not uh, not uh, crossing this line so now then it is our trust okay everything is uh, completed and next uh, that i'm going to do is uh, also in this place we need to make a trust also into that place so now next uh, i'll go back to level two and here i make a trust here so what i'm going to do is i go back to trust and same trust that we're gonna use and i'll just make a trust going here And then also here, I'll make a truss going here, and then here. And then uh, another one truss that is also going here. I think I need to move this. And then uh, in 3D, it's like this. So here it's sitting there at the top of the truss. So what I'm going to do is uh, again I select this. And this one will gonna pin it there in this truss. So now I'll select this one, this one, and then we're gonna move that level to zero and there. Both are already down. And then again, I'll uh, select this. And this one and then uh, I'll go to attach I'm going to attach it into this roof now I sell or I save it save it and then also we need to attach this also and uh, that's this and this one and also attach and then attach it to this roof and now we have made our trust this is our trust now uh, next that I'm going to do is uh, again we'll do the same what we have done in our previous uh, work I'll just uh, make this one go there I'm not going to change this it's okay here so what I'm going to do I'll make a section from this side make a section here and then uh, I'll just uh, bring this in and then uh, I'll double click it and now it's open and I go to this uh, line and then uh, again I'll pick the top and then uh, make this one up I unlock it first and then make this one 6 inches and then okay and then uh, we don't need this also I'll just stop and then unlock it and then delete and then also this we don't need up and then unlock it and then delete and then again top and then unlock this one and drag this up to this edge and then again this another one so I'll go back and select this up and then unlock it and then we don't need this and also I hit this tab and then unlock it and then drag this up to this edge also and then again I'll tap this one unlock it and then delete 
and here is our class now we only have two this one and this one so same i'll go back to this level two and then again i'll make a section from this side so make a section i'll make it here and going there and then I'll drag this here inside so I'm going to double click this and again go to this uh, detail level and then make it fine and there so next uh, again I'll hit this tab and then again I unlock it and move this again move this 6 inches And then uh, with only this tab, delete, delete. And then with only this also, and tab, and then unlock it, delete. And this one not needed also, unlock, and then delete. Maybe this one is needed or not, maybe not. I'll just uh, hit the tab, and then lock, and then delete. And then again, I'll touch this one and unlock it. And then uh, here, near to this side. Okay. And now, here is our product. And we have the last one. This is the last one. So, I'll go back and make a section again. And then I'll make a section going here. And then uh, again, I'll drag this in, and then I'll double click that, and then I'll go back to this uh, detail level, and then fine, and then again, I'll tab and then touch that one, unlock it, and then offset it again to six inches, and then apply. And then again, we don't need this. I'll just tab it and then unlock it and then delete. Also, this one tab, unlock, delete. Also, this one tab, unlock, delete. Also, this one we don't need tab, unlock, delete. And then again, tab and then unlock. And then I'll drag this up to here on this side now this is our truss all the truss is all of these truss are already made so next time I'm going to do is uh, we're going to again right click this and then in override graphics by category I'll go back and I'll bring back this transparency of our roofs and then like this and there is all of our roof done okay, I select it and there is our finished product the roof is already completed what you need to do is just only make a one uh, one uh, rafter from this type from this upper side so we can do that also we'll go and go to structure and we'll go to this uh, beam then in beam we're gonna select one wood uh, we'll use this uh, 2 by 10 and then don't forget to snap this 3d snapping and then here I'll snap this up to here and there is our wood and in 3D, now all of our wood truss. This is how the trusses are made in the Philippines. So next time we're gonna make it still when we are there in our uh, structure, structure uh, uh, tutorial. So I'll teach you also how to make this one trusses in steel guys uh, that's all for today and we have completed our discussions about 
proofs. And uh, guys, uh, uh, in our next video, I'm going to introduce to you another topic or another uh, tutorial which is uh, stairs. We will uh, do several types of, there are different types of stairs. Alright guys, that's all for today and I'll see you again on my next video. Yermilenge, till we meet again. Bye-bye.